whatever you need, just get it all off. Yeah. <laughs> Swallowing or anything like that, you know, keep your arms more just like that. There you go. Sometimes we get swelling after surgery and you need to wrap the chest again just for a day or two. Yeah. Just help go down. I love his tattoos. Mm -hmm. Nautical. You're a sailor? I lived in Panama for a while. So I did a little sailing down mm -hmm. there. I like the sugar skulls and the, yeah. and the crown. Do they call them sugar skulls? Mm -hmm. It's like a Mexican art though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, and then I got the shark because sharks are my favorite animal. It feels so good to be able to breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of hunch a little bit, but don't worry, you can kind of spread your shoulders out, you're not going to hurt That's crazy. <clears throat> you have some mild ripples and wrinkles and stuff like that, just typical post op swelling that's all going to go away over the next several weeks. It looks fine. The tape strips, we're going to leave these on for another week. Mm -hmm. Then it'll come off by next week, then peel those off. That's when you start applying scar dart to the incisions. Okay. You can see nipples right in the lower board of the pectoral on both sides, exactly where it should, should be. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, it looks really good. And if you don't have any dog ears, you can see on the side, it looks nice and flat. Look in the mirror, straight ahead. You can see it looks nice and smooth on the yeah. side, so it looks really good. This is so awesome. Yeah, it looks really, really good. It looks good. Yeah. And we ended up not even, it's kind of strange how everything got pulled. The nipple really doesn't affect me, just hit the top no, of the perfect. Letters. And that landed perfect, yeah, too. Yeah, right in the like, mouth. Seriously. Yeah, so that's yeah. what I need. Mean. So you can always get that pierce and have like a big old harpoon in it. That's so awesome. <laughs> I love it. All right, you look great, though, okay? That's awesome. All right. I'm so excited. Let's get the drains out, okay? All right. Yeah, just scoot all the way back. back. Alright, don't hurt me too much. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about this part. No? Yeah, most patients do really well with this. I don't know why there's such a buildup about it. Because um, I think it's just your dreams that don't hurt. I think other people's dreams. Maybe it's the other doctors, probably. Oh, yeah. They probably use different You know, some people feel pain. Don't get me wrong. But if you use a round drain, it slides up very easy. Okay, turn your head away from me, take a deep breath in, and blow out. That's it. Sometimes you feel like a weird burning sensation. Yeah. Gotta go away in a few seconds, hopefully. Mm. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some people don't feel anything, but you know. Yeah. Alright, let's try this side now. Deep breath. And blow out. That's it. Yeah, I didn't feel it on that side. Okay. Like Just one side was uncomfortable. And that was a small hole where the drain came out of it. It's right at the end of the incision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to cover that little bandage for the same spot if I use a large band-aid. Do that once a day for next week. Uh -huh. it should close up within a week. You're good. Just relax your hands right there. And take out the the dressings off the nipples now. The nipples always look gross. You gotta layer skin peels away over the next week. New skin cells grow over on top of that in the next couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And then the nipple projection returns after a few weeks. Mm -hmm. Can you go ahead and take a look? Right uh, I don't know if I want to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
snack. And we're kind of queasy. Areola, the nipples in the center, nipples flat right now, don't worry about it. These little brown switches are going to fall down there and I'm going to take out the black ones. Okay? Looks very good. That's healthy and it's alive. It's normal for the nipple drop to bleed a little bit for the next day or so. Okay. That should stop. Start showering tomorrow. Sweet. I'm like a neat freak, so I've been like baby wiping and freaking out. And this is torture for you, then. Yeah. <laughs> you need to uh, let the water hit your back, run over your chest, don't face the shower jets because you can damage your nipple grafts. When you get out of the shower, pat yourself dry with a clean towel, and that's what you want to put the dressings on. All right. This is zero form. Okay. We're giving two sheets of stuff. It will last you about three weeks. That's all you need. You need to cut yourself two small squares like that. Um, put one on top of each nipple. Okay. Antibiotic ointment. Use generic triple antibiotic ointment. That's it. Okay. Put a small dab on the back and gently spread that in. Then we're going to put gauze on top of this. Mm -hmm. You need to cover the craft. Dressings. Once a day, I recommend using those large square band aids. Okay. Just a lot easier. You do that for three weeks. Next couple of weeks, arms are still down by the side. Okay. No strength, no exercise, no heavy lifting or anything like that. How long before I can like swim? Six weeks. Six weeks. After two weeks, it's okay to start using your arms a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, heavy lifting exercise for the six weeks. Swimming. No exercise. No running. Okay. Thanks. Alright. Um, if you run into any problems between now and then, I want you to call me. Okay? Okay. Don't email us. Call us. And if uh, you can send me photos of six weeks, I can save you the only two. Yeah. Alright? I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs>